Hello and welcome to, I don't know, let's try. No, because I've done this. I've covered this game before. This is against the storm. Um, it's not a series because I know that that would perform awfully, but um, I have a tremendous amount of respect for this game and I want to play it and I want to show it off again. So that's what this is. We're, we're looking at against the storm again. Um, it's been a while since I covered it last. It's had quite a lot of updates and there's quite a lot of new things to talk about. Um, as well as a uh, new feature free mechanics um, I can I, I mean you you can watch my other video but I'll I'll go over this again against the storm is a rogue light city builder um, with a very strong overarching kind of progression uh, is there meta progression yes I really actually like the meta progression in against the storm because it incentivizes wins which as which as I've said before, um, my preferred way of basically encouraging meta progression. Yes, you do kind of get a little bit of uh, I wouldn't call it pity, but you get some extra stuff for losing. Still, you know, a loss isn't a complete loss, but you definitely uh, establish more uh, as a, as you know a, a player when you win, when you actually create a functioning and uh, successful city. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a city. Uh, this is more or less a fresh game. I, I redid the tutorial and uh, I, I kind of started from scratch so that I could re-familiarize myself. We're gonna be picking some settlers. I like to start with humans and beavers because beavers are important for woodcutting. Uh, just, you know, follow along with me. Just, just assume when I, you know, like take it, take it on faith that I sort of know <laughs> what I'm talking about. You can definitely like, uh, he listened to this game is like, what do you mean beaver people? Okay, don't worry about it. Don't question it too hard We're gonna be doing veteran difficulty and then we're gonna embarking um, I'm not super good at this game for a number of very like Nuanced reasons. I think one of the reasons I've held off on this game for a bit is I think that there uh, It doesn't do a lot to communicate what things you should really shoot for but I think some of that has changed over the course of the last few updates so um, we have an overview of how things are going to be affecting our city. We have uh, some additional effects. The proximity of the royal outpost makes it easier to communicate with the crown. The pool of order choices will increase by one. Sure, okay. Uh, the royal woodlands are very lush and rich in timber. Three Trees give more wood. Okay, but we also have um, strange visions active only in season drizzle. Villagers with this effect have a 20% chance of doubling the yield with each production cycle. So these are passive effects that are going to be affecting us. Most of these forest mysteries are things that will uh, happen when we, like either on random, but by discovering or breaking open uh, the, um, you know, cracking open the forest, basically. Active only in season storm. Actually, a lot of these seem to be things that can happen during the storm, but hopefully we won't encounter all of them. We'll encounter some of them so we have uh we have some things we got to choose before we can really start building our uh settlement we've got a trapper's camp we've got plantation uh we've got a herbalist camp uh might want the herbalist camp but here's uh here's where i oh conditions natural resources your renown is grows you can now choose from one of the Okay, so we, we get to pick from three buildings basically three times in the very beginning, and that's going to really establish our base. But in order to like fully understand the scope of those de decisions, we're going to have to um, kind of pay special mind to what we have. We have um, flax fields. Those are gathered from her um, harvesters camps. Do we have harvesters camps? Yes, we do. So we know we're set there. Uh, this guy over here, root deposits, we're going to need small foragers camps or we could get a foragers camp like a normal one and that will maybe yield more i think uh, i think they're also more efficient at uh, yielding from like large amount of root you can let me know in the comments by the way if i'm like really getting things wrong here you'll have to forgive me if i am i'm I, as i say i'm i'm kind of like middling experienced with this game so we know we have everything we need to cover our major necessities our people, our humans, our beavers, uh, they have needs too. They're going to be happier depending on how we build our city. Um, we're not going to worry about that too much right now. Uh, we know we don't have meat, so maybe a trapper's camp is not nece necessary. And we also don't have lizard people. Again, just follow with me here. Um, 
So we use uses nearby farm fields to produce berries and plant fiber. So sure, we'll do a plantation. Uh, I have humans and they're good for farming, so we like farms. Uh, we could do leather working, which is only good if we have, uh, I guess, fab. Oh, can, this can produce fabric. We need uh, meat in order to produce fabric. Like we can look at this and it'll say, okay, we need leather and oil to produce water skins. We Or we could have it produce silk from plant fiber or use insects to produce pigments. Those are all gonna be resources necessary for building things. Um, we can make a kiln. Let's have a look at a kiln. Kiln will use wood to make coal, clay to make bricks, or wood and insects to make jerky. Jerky is very good, it will keep certain people very happy. Um, I think I'd like to go for the weaver though. That's gonna turn plant fiber into fabric, stone and planks into training gear, which is good, and pigment to make pack of trade goods, which is good for um, basically uh, keeping the queen happy, which is actually the goal of the game. Then we have smokehouse, cookhouse, cellar. Uh, can produce biscuits, skewers, pigment. That's only if we have insects and vegetables or flour and herbs. Flour is harder to obtain. We need uh, a windmill to, to make get flour or we can just use it to make it pigment. Um, I don't know if I, I guess pottery and incense wouldn't be bad. Clay and wood, herbs and wood. So those cover more ground. And then we have the cellar, which is going to turn berries and pottery into wine. I don't know if we'll be able to make pottery for quite a bit. But we can turn, change this to something else, like barrels, for instance. So I actually think the cellar is going to do better for us. I know that wine is good for some of our settlers. I'm not sure who. It looks like uh, humans like religion, biscuits, por porridge, leisure, clothing. Clothing makes everyone happy, generally speaking. Um, beavers also like biscuits. They like luxury. Luxury may take the form of many different things not just uh, like it could be a resource i'm not sure so um i'm gonna go for cellar it might be incorrect ah uh, can use drizzle water all right we'll take cellar and uh, i'm not gonna worry about a lot of that i just want to make sure that we're covering our bases for now so we're gonna do a small foragers camp next to these roots uh before we do that actually we we need wood that's like the, the most important thing right away to deal with is we need to, to get wood. So we're, don't make it weird. Uh, we're going to put some camps over there and a wood camp over, I uh, like here. And uh, I like to, you know, make a, make a town that works well. We could do paved road. I don't think I really want to do paved road just yet. Our layout is a little weird, but I can work with this. Just put down some roads. And uh, let's get our, yeah, let's get our woodcutter camps set up first. Then we'll get food set up. We've got a little bit of food right away because of, um, you know, some of the perks I picked in, up in the beginning. We should also set up a crude workstation probably as quick as we can. A little quality of life feature I really like is it shows these kind of dotted lines between all of the relevant stations um, that are like, you know, providing resources to that thing in question. So. The closer to all of those you get it, the, the more efficient your town's going to be. We could do like here and then um, set up a little bit more road. In fact, we may as well just set up a road like that. Uh, I wish that woodcutter could actually, we should, now that we have our woodcutter set up, we got to throw some beavers at a couple of these. Beavers there and beavers there. And let's pick some places to dig out. We don't want to do this dangerous glade. I didn't realize that was a dangerous glade. So let's do this one over here. And actually, I might just move this over here. And that way we're chopping over here. And these are these are like fairly pleasant glades and we'll get a bunch of wood. You don't want to dig out too much because the forest is kind of alive uh, and it will start to resent you if you dig too greedily and too deep. And in fact, it's already pretty hostile. The more glades we crack open, um, the more it will resent us. We've already, we, we need have some missions to do though. Gain one plus one to production yields for all packs of goods. Reinforce X and wood, wood cutting is a lot easier. Woodcutter camps produ pr production is 35% quicker. I think I want to do packs of goods since I already, I think I have the means to make pr um, 
make that. Let's have a quick look at our um, Weaver packs, pack of trade goods. This is pack of goods. I don't know if that's the same, to be honest. So let's do reinforced axes. And I'm gonna wanna pick a mission. I guess we don't have a mission yet. Unlock trade routes by buying the dim square level one upgrade in the smoldering city. We don't have that yet, so I don't have trade routes. A lot of people are gonna go like, what? You don't have trade routes? That's like, you know, one of the first things I know. It's, it's a very fresh game. Um, let's do, put some people at the uh, crude workshop so that we're converting stuff already. Um, we're only going to be converting wood and I guess I do kind of want to limit this. How much wood do we have right now? We've got 35 wood. It takes eight wood to make two planks. So we do kind of want to limit this to like say five planks. I don't know how many planks it's going to take to make anything, but we want to make sure we're not overspending our wood because it is necessary for quite a lot of things. Okay. We also want to make sure we're harvesting as well like we want to take advantage of all of our resources so let's go ahead and set up our harvesters camp we have our first mission um i guess we can pick any of these help from the queen objective have at least six humans for 30 seconds or deliver two pack of building material deliver two pack of crops deliver two pack of provisions or events completed. Complete any two Glade events. Well, I know I can achieve this pretty quickly, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, and we pick some more missions. Get some berries or deliver 15 berries. That's a little bit trickier. Plantation, use nearby farm fields to produce berries. Well, we do have a plantation, so that's good. Deliver 15 plant fiber. fiber. I like this one, so let's go for that since we do have plantations. We're gonna have to find some farm fields though. And then this one is deliver materials this one's events complete two glade events if we do this i think we get to we can check two boxes at once by doing two glade events so this is as soon as we crack open these two glade events here um that should make progress towards two missions the missions are how you uh, appease the queen you appease the queen to win the game or at least establish this town as being successful if you make the queen wait too long, she'll become impatient. She'll get angry at you. If uh, there's actually a few different ways that uh, you can tick off the queen, and if you do so, then you're you're playing with fire. You are bound to lose. Lose. I see we got uh, a bit more um, wood going on, so let's go back here and uh, to the workshop and maybe up this to six planks. I don't know how many planks we have so far. Looks like none, actually. It takes quite a long time to make one. So let's throw another human at this to make sure that uh, they're working on stuff. We need some clay. Eventually, we'll need some clay. And I'm gonna go into times two mode just to pass the time a little bit longer. Quicker, I mean. All right, so we got our first glade event. Our glade event has, um, they want vegetables, which we don't really have any of, or eggs. Uh, if we give them vegetables, we would get some new people. Since we don't have it, let's go ahead and do send to Citadel, since we can offer them up some eggs. We have no people to spare on this, so what I'm going to do is take two beavers off of woodworking and put them on to this. We don't have a lot of people right now, so we can't even build anything right now until we we get more but hey there's our our farmland right there that's going to be very helpful all right so that's just about done and now it's done and we sent some ember back to the queen i think that will give us a little bit of um you know it'll make her a little bit happy although it, okay there we go or maybe it just gives us uh, amber for trading later either way we're good um let's go ahead and set up we want a plantation. So let's do a plantation here. And we're just gonna wait for that to be finished building. Uh, I like to set up roads pretty quickly. I, I you know, appreciate it for um, getting around quicker, making an efficient town. Oh, and I guess while we're doing that, we also want to establish farm fields. I don't know though, if we need to make those farm fields for making berries. It could be that they only need, like, do they get this? berries and plant fiber from 
either sown fields or okay so they do they do need to be fields okay let's go ahead and make them fields so what does this need though it needs two planks we don't have those planks just yet y'all are taking a while to get them planks going okay we do have planks now now all right uh, plantation is moving and what i should do is i'm actually gonna take one of should take one human off there and put them on farming because humans like farming they're they're better at it all right so that should take care of food for the time being our berries are probably going to move uh towards you know completing our first goal uh we do want to have beavers back on wood cutting so that we can crack open another glade and i just realized i haven't taken advantage of these roots yet so uh, i guess we don't really have like anyone to spare but there's no um there's no like um nothing saying we can't set up the camp first so we'll set up a foragers camp there and that's going to require just wood and parts that's fine we can spare that that we've also got some uh, flax field up here i'm gonna leave that for the time being because we've already got a ha harvester's camp once these uh flax fields have been like fully farmed then i can just go ahead and move this harvester's camp over there there one of the things that uh, a lot of people said they they really like about against the storm i know it's a weird way of saying that it's a good thing i had kind of mixed feelings about the fact that you can move buildings but i guess in the grand scheme of things it is a good idea because it stops you it stops that whole like loop of like oh i have to deconstruct this thing here and then build it over there uh it does kind of like shortcut a, an annoying aspect of a lot of city builders okay i'm gonna select only marked trees for now because i really want them to break open this other glade for uh for our mission but it's, it is kind of nice that there's an option you can have them like avoid glades which is really cool cool okay have we completed a thing no we haven't not just yet rich glades newly discovered resources nodes have more charges plus five for more de for small deposits and plus 15 for large deposits strange roots spread across the land wood production is increased by plus one but harvesting and planting are slower no i'll definitely take rich glades since we're about to break open another glade and we have more people this is really good uh, unfortunately the there's lizard people here and i don't have any meat to make them happy so that's going to be a problem something i should have done and i really i'm going to do it now is we we need to build some houses houses are going to make people like really happy it's like the basics of uh you know how do you keep people happy happy you know food water and a roof over their head and you know clothes but uh we'll get there we'll get there lizards they really like meat i don't think there's a uh, many ways we can keep them happy without needing meat we have eggs but those will run out quick fast i feel like we have enough wood so i'm actually going to take um take the beaver off this just disable it for the time being i still want to crack open this glade and it looks like we're picking new orders we still have not okay yeah opening up one glade actually completed it in two objectives so that's pretty good that's that's how we uh complete two things at once apparently we haven't gotten our 15 berries. i'm not sure yet how to deliver those berries so we'll have to figure that one out well let's pick some orders deliver two ancient tablets good highly sought after trades uh pack of crops uh, lizard house we would want to build lizard houses uh that's not something we can do so uh they can be found in dangerous or forbidden glades interesting um wh why don't we go ahead and do advanced trading we'll do another order uh we can probably do eight for the beaver clan okay we're gonna put another uh human on the farm so that they're getting berries i guess we haven't gotten any berries just yet they're working on it we'll be able to complete a mission by opening up the second glade i'm gonna speed us up a little bit towards that direction Okay, we got our we got our berries going apparently they also got some uh some what, what are these called again flax from the fields which is kind of nice we need them berries we really need them berries the, the queen is getting impatient okay we got our second glade um what do we got going on over here ancient fossils rich in resources require a requires a camp with a recipe or better so we need a stone cutters camp all right Let's make a stonecutter's camp then. 
doesn't even cost us planks, which is nice. And then over here we need small herbalist camp. Again, I'll leave that for now. Oh, looks like looks uh, guy is done. So I'll have them move over here. We'll have uh, a beaver help them along. Long. Oh, okay, that's weird. I completed my second or opened my second glade, but apparently that didn't count towards the mission. So I'm going to have to dig another one. Unless the event over here is there is no event. Maybe that didn't count. So let's just go ahead and uh, break open another glade there. I could do a dangerous glade, but they can uh, usually get your your town killed or at least town members killed. And I'd like to have a, a little a bit of surplus before I do that. That we just have our lizard person over here uh, working on these fossils. But hey, that's going to get us more resources. OK, we have four berries. Uh oh, new event. Looming darkness. Strange visions. Villagers with these, this effect have a plus 20 per, tw tw plus 20 percent chance of doubling the yield with each production cycle. Right now, no one's affected by that. But I did see them have that effect for a moment. There's no one to build right now, so I'm actually going to take. Oh, I have already taken one person off of uh, wood cutting thing. I'm stretched a little thin right now. I need more people. Lizards are. Uh, understandably be getting kind of antsy i don't have any resources and reasons to build a small trappers camp can produce pack of crops provisions pack of building materials i should probably make a makeshift post and collect rainwater used for crafting and powerful rain engines and production buildings things we do have a lot of fabric i think yeah we should make a weaver that's gonna be a very expensive buy because we need more planks and i limited us to six we're gonna need eight so we have a new limit it gotta keep our lads happy queen's getting real impatient i don't blame her uh, oh botanists did we complete something yes we did there we go deliver finally that uh, appeases the queen somewhat <laughs> We need to be able to deliver three packs of building materials. Now, did we lose those berries, I wonder? I don't think we did. I think we just needed to have them. Have them. Okay, uh, new glade. Who dis? Herbalist camp. We can rebuild it to have another herbalist camp or salvage it with clay and wood in order to get insects and stone. After scouts clear an event, they will return to a warehouse with the goods looted from it. Rewards such as reputation points and perks don't need to be retransported. Well, I don't know if I need another herbalist camp, but it, let me just double check. Is Where is our herbalist camp? Do we even have one? I don't think we do have one, actually. But I also don't know if we have any reason. Like, what does a herbalist camp do? We have a small herbalist camp. And they collect berries, herbs, and mushrooms. And look at that. It's in the perfect place to uh, get both of those. So, yeah, let's go ahead and rebuild that. We're going to have to assign some workers, worker, a human, and a lizard. I know we would have gotten insects from, uh, you know, and our, our lizard people would have been kept happy for the moment. But, uh, you know, that's we're just going to have to be cool with that. Forager's camp can gather large and giant resource nodes in addition to small ones. One. Yeah, this seems like a good idea, even if we can't use it right away. So that still wasn't another glade event? Question mark? Seems to me I'm going to have to do a dangerous glade, if only to guarantee that we complete a glade event. The forest is almost like done with us. Okay, that... Oh, we got new people. Uh, more beavers wouldn't be a bad idea, but if we get some meat from this, that would be pretty good. So let's take this and it'll keep our lizard people happy for a little bit longer. Um, we'll shove some people in this. Do we have more? Okay, that's already full up with humans. We'll put our lizard person there. Um, and we're going to want to build some road over there. It looks like it came with road, which is kind of interesting. Right. They also people would like to have advent uh, like um, decorations. There's there's reasons to put down decorations everywhere. Um, like even just here upgrade uh, level if we threw down some decorations it would upgrade the the um the hearth i like to throw down a garden just because it's just like that's for 
decorations right away and it looks quite nice. nice. I guess actually, no, let's not do that because is, let's let's not um, because it costs planks and we're kind of short on planks. So let's just do small ones. We'll do some barrels. Barrels are, I don't know, they, they seem kind of ugly to me, but you know, I'm not going to question it. Apparently people like barrels. Now we actually have a, some spare people to build stuff. We haven't really been building too much. Oh, okay. We did do two glade events. Okay. Um, vineyard. The settlement specializes in wine production. Gain plus one for, to beaver resolve for every 70 wine produced. Wealthy settlements attract wealthy settlers. Newcomers bring 40% more goods with them for every hearth level gained. This seems like the better of the two. At least for my uh, circumstance. And we have a forager's camp. I haven't really done anything that... I suppose what I should do is... Oh, I already had a forager's camp. I wonder why it's even telling me about that. Did it just like upgrade the forager's camp from a small to a large? I guess I shouldn't be opening up this dangerous glade just yet. Now that I've completed two glade events, we can deliver on this. We'll get some we'll get resources. We'll also get another uh, benefit from our queen. Cookhouse would be good. We still don't have a means to make flour. So you now bakery. Oh. I mean, we need flour for this, right? Yeah, we need flour. Can't really produce flour. Ah, here we go. Provisioner would produce flour and barrel bears. That's very good. That's exactly what we need. This hasn't been made yet. We need more people in here and we need to prioritize planks somewhat. What? We did upgrade the hearth. Last level reached. More can be unlocked in the smoldering city. Woodcutter's camp has no suitable trees nearby. Well, that is kind of a problem. We have a lot of wood, so it's not a big problem. We do have new missions we have to complete. I'm not doing a great job keeping, uh, like, keeping on these. Deliver 35 storm water. I suppose if I have a rain, some rain collectors, are those what I think they are? Yeah, I already have some rain collectors. So if I build a couple of those, then that would be very obtainable. Then there's need for leisure fulfilled value of goods sold sell goods worth at least 40 okay i can't really do that yet i'm surprised that they're offering me objectives i can't possibly complete because i don't think i can sell anything i don't have the ability to do trade routes yet so we'll take uh, that and we'll build some rain collectors have at least 15 aesthetics decorations complete at least two events by making a decision empathy, empathy. um let's go ahead and do 15 aesthetic decorations because i can achieve that pretty easily we need to do pack of building materials, but I have, we've only just got our weaver. They do trade goods. Can we do anything else? I guess we could do water skins, but, but don't really want to do training gear. We do want fabric though. So I'm going to limit us to, I guess we were already making fabric. It looks to me like we can make fabric far more efficiently. It only takes two plant fiber to make fabric here. Whereas it takes six here. So we're going to go ahead and um, turn this off. I like just uncheck it. And then over here, we're going to prioritize this turn off training gear. Um, we're going to turn off pack of trade goods for now. I know that's part of our goal. We have to do that, but I'm not there yet. And we're going to have to do a uh, couple of rain collectors. Let's put them down here. I should have held the shift button right because that lets you build more than one also really helps to have people in your weaver to you know actually make stuff stuff i'm gonna start to peter out unless i crack around some other glades so let's go ahead and do that these are gonna need people i needed two water uh rain collectors for the sake of the mission but i don't really need it that badly what's going on here no one in this building is working well why not not i guess you need to lock it in order for it to be a, a thing they do do so they're working on fabric now we're, we've got a better source of fabric going oh we could be turning let's turn uh, stone into bricks that's something we could have been doing for a while now um we don't want to have too much of that so i'm going to limit it to five Okay, we've got our first dangerous glade. Seems to me this is... Oh, there's two things here. Okay, so... People are afraid of whatever destroyed the caravan. Negative five to global resolve. 
is active only when the corresponding glade event is being worked on. Oh, I see. So as soon as I start working on that, everyone's going to lose five resolve. But we would get grubbing tools, basket of berries, and barrels. Or we could get packs of provision and also make the queen happy. This is going to uh, give us impatient points. Traders are afraid and will not visit this area. Neither trading nor trade routes are available. Well, that's fine. They're not available anyway. Let's go ahead and deal with this as quickly as we can. And then over here, uh, this is just a cache and is only good stuff, actually. In fact, it will make the queen happy if we throw some tools at it. We don't have nearly the tools that we need at it, so we'll go ahead and uh, do rocks instead. We don't really have a renewable source of rocks is the problem, but it's fine. Let's focus on the the, the, the dangerous one of two uh, of both of these. We also have a uh, means of more farm. We could do more farmage. All right, I had to lock this down by lock. Wait, what? Override global limit on on. I guess I don't really understand what the lock is. Is lizard resolve is low, high high hostility, because we're cutting down too much forest. I think we don't have anyone uh, available for building, so I'm gonna take two beavers off of woodworking so they can actually build stuff. Uh, I guess we have no more parts. Is part of the problem. Traders from the smoldering city can station here and offer their wares. Oh god, I had a trading post this whole time. Uh, okay, well, um, I guess better to figure that out now than never. I guess they can't get in here because these rocks are technically uh, stopping them. We need to cut down these trees to let them through. There we go. Oh, I wonder if I need... Um, yeah, I don't have these, so therefore I'm not able to actually get them. All right, let's do corruption then. Loot it. Or unless I... Yeah, I don't have any of these materials, so I can't give it to them. So we're just going to go ahead and loot it. We're probably going to lose our, all of our lizard people. I think I did accomplish something. No, I didn't. I get to pick a cornerstone. All houses have room for one more villager. Some work, woodworkers just can't stop working. Gain three barrels... And for every 10 planks produced. Interesting. I feel like if... No, I can't take the amber now. Well, I mean, I can, but uh, I'll take crowded houses. I should build some more houses. How's this going? Almost 50%. Good, good, good. How's our wood supplies doing? It's going down, but we have so much of it that we're, we should be fine for a bit. Ah, more people. This is what I was hoping for. They keep giving us lizards. I really don't want more lizards because I can't keep them happy. <laughs> We're very berry focused. We're berry focused, you know? And uh, it's like we, we just need, we need to be focusing on berries. I suppose there is this slick shell broodmother large, um, but we need, we need a uh, trapper's camp, which I've turned down several times. Stonecutter's camp has no deposits nearby. So we're going to go ahead and move them over here. Okay, so this is dealt with now. So we're reaping the rewards on that, which are barrel, barrel and berries. And so we can start working on this. Oh, we do have meat over here, finally. Can we... Do we have the means of the meeting with that? Small trapper's camp. We can finally actually make uh, lizards happy. Queen is really not cool with us, but yeah, we're, we're picking our like fifth or sixth goal without actually achieving anything temple 50 scrolls now if i take this lost knowledge i mean i i need to do dangerous glades to make this happen we'll see if we can do it i really just need um three packs of building materials but i don't think oh make it actually tells me where to make that produced by makeshift post okay that that communication is actually really helpful so if we go to our makeshift post, which I of course built. Yo, did I never build our makeshift post? That might be why I'm struggling as much as I am. I guess I never did. That would, that's really silly of me. Of me. That's why I haven't been completing these awards. A lot of things are made, but we can do, we do have a weaver. So we should be trying to do pigments or I guess we, do we have a renewable source of barrels just yet? made in a provisioner which we apparently have. have harvester's camp hasn't been doing much for a while and i don't think that there's anything else they can do so we're just gonna put it somewhere for now um and 
take people out of it, which is fine. We could use more hands. I need a provisioner's camp. I know I probably have one. Oh, uh, we have the means of making one, but we haven't built one yet. It does take quite a lot of resources. We do have those resources. Okay, things are finally moving forward. I've, I've figured out some of the communication in this game. Um, I, I, I guess I just been kind of like blinding it a little bit. Um, so all we need to do now is start to make pack of building materials. Wow, those are expensive. Wow. Uh, those are expensive, but we do need them. We have 14 herbs in our, in our, uh, okay. I, I'm assuming that number at the top right means how many we have. I'm going to prioritize building materials for the time being. Packs of crops uh, also, because those are both needed to complete a mission. And over here, um, we don't, I don't think we have, we do have a forager's camp, or at least we can make a forager's camp, but I don't know if we have grain. Okay, so we need copper in order to make barrels. That's what's up there. And this is four herbs for three packs of provisions versus six herbs for three packs of provisions. So we're going to uncheck that there and make sure that this is checked just so that we're, if we're turning herbs into provisions, um, we're doing so at a better conversion rate. So what can we do here? Can we turn anything into flour? We can turn mushrooms into flour, weirdly. Huh. Crystallized rain essence produced by forester's hut, alchemist hut, beanery brickyard. So I guess that's why you want to collect rainwater is you can potentially turn it into a viable resource instead of copper. We don't have a good means of making barrels just yet. So it's a bit of a problem. I guess we should be making uh, wheat if we can, but that we're going to run out of roots like instantly. I, I'm going to start just in order to appease the queen at all, throwing down some, uh, some decorations where I can just to make things pretty, you know, I, I actually kind of appreciate that the, the game it like gives you a reason to place decorations and, you know, it's not just like something you do because you know, it's, it's nice. Um, not that, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I, I usually like, oh yeah, decorations. I can, I can make the place look nice, I suppose. But why? I, oh, these are comfort. Oops. Oops. So I actually need to be building these ones because these are aesthetics. So I need to be building like bushes and stuff. I don't have any, I need to start chopping down more trees because I'm going to, I'm out of planks. It's time to get the beavers busy again. So let's, uh, we're, we're going to tackle another dangerous glade and get the beavers going in the woodcutters. They're still collecting from that cache. Looks like we're collecting storm water right now. Lizards are really not happy. I don't blame them. There's like a, kind of like a cyclical, you know, thing that goes on in, uh, against the storm. You make the queen happy and that improves your village and you improve your village to make the queen happy. If we did packs of provisions, would that be appeasing anything? Not really. We're getting pretty close on this objective down here. We need to have 15 aesthetic decorations. That means that's really expensive. At the minimum, that means 15 planks. Um, if we could do building material, that'd be really good. Where's our makeshift post? Oh God. Yeah, the reason we're not doing building materials is because it's 10 planks. Okay, we're gonna have to start increase like just on um, this talk planks we're just doing planks as much as possible and we need someone else in here here we could do a cellar that'd be kind of nice i'll build it but i don't think that uh, we can actually use it just yet yet this trapper's camp can't be made because we don't have enough parts all right and we're cracking open this dangerous glade probably a bad idea but we're doing it in it all right tanning racks plus two to leather production uh not as helpful specializes in a particular branch of commerce can bring a lot of profit. Packs of trade goods are worth 25% more when sold through trade routes or directly to traders. Okay, sounds good because we are probably going to do that in the future. We have more people. I think I just want, well, especially if we're getting planks because I really need more planks. More humans and beavers would be great. Okay, so what the, what can we do with the seller? We need a viable means of like using it um pottery we can't do a pottery 
Can we do anything here? No, not really. I figured we were not going to be able to do anything with this, but we could do... We could turn our 20 water skins into wine. Let's throw some lizard people here. And at the very least, we'll start making people happy. Uh, one more building material and we'll finally complete another goal. God, this one over here needs 12 building materials. Good lord. Doable, though. It's doable. It's just going to take a minute. Okay, we're about to do another dangerous glade. Probably should be doing these a little bit faster. But I, I'm a little wary, to, uh, wary of that because, like, you can see here, um... Like, I don't like to get too much hostility from the forest. Trader arrived, Zorg. Uh, Zorg, what can you do for us? My goods, their goods. What have we got? Biscuits, flour, might be nice. nice. So we could do some biscuits. Um, could try and keep our lizard people. I, I'm Probably we need some roots. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. No. Well, let's see what we can buy, first of all. Efficient fuel obtained by stone cutters. We could sell some sea marrow. Sell a bunch of sea, sea marrow for like just amber. Um, we'll do some more biscuits. Let's just like buy all their biscuits. That'll make, uh, that'll make, you know, a lot of people very happy. And we'll buy some skewers as well. We'll buy as many skewers as we can. Let's do some fabric as well. I'm sure we're gonna need it, but we're good. All right, that's that's not bad. This is all pretty good. Apparently we have a lot of clay. Attack the trader. I don't know if I would ever want to do that. All right. Um, oh, they'll teach us how to make things. Traders will arrive 15% quicker. Plus one to plant fiber production, gain additional plant fiber. How do I gain that? Let's, uh, if I like take a few of these off. No. I think we genuinely need the amber in our possession. What if we bought like 20... I wouldn't mind having the fiber one. Uses nearby farm fields to produce roots and herbs. Oh, that would be amazing, actually. Let's, uh, let's learn that one. Um, so if I could get tw nine more amber. Still won't let me. If I trade this... Then I have enough to buy that. Aha, okay, okay. So that's amber you can use to buy perks. That's really good to know. I'm actually going to, um, well, this <laughs> this trapper's camp still needs to be made, but we don't have any parts. However, now we can do a herb garden and we'll place this near here, right there. And uh, let's go ahead and do farm fields. That's going to help a lot because now we have a renewable source of roots and herbs, which we need both of. Oh, our glade has been cracked open here. Okay. So break open would give us a tr pack of trade goods. Oh, okay. Amber starts to see make a lot of sense, but vials of pigments would be really good. And mushrooms. I think this is the obvious choice. And I think we have tons of stone. Or is our stone? 81 stone. Yeah, we, we're fine for stone. So let's do this one. And then let's look at this one over here. Rob the dead would give us scouts pack. Oh, and ancient tablets, which we need to complete a goal. Easy, easy choice. And also parts. Oh, that's actually amazing. Also, we have another viable crop over here for farming. This is very good stuff. More roots over here too. I wonder how many people are are idle right now that we could get working on something. Thing. How much? Uh, we are starting to run into the double digits on wood, so we do need to keep an eye on wood. Um, thinking we should just like cut into the forests, not into another glade for now. No. So this is gonna get built. Uh, we'd like to throw another couple of humans at that, which we have to spare. This is still not getting built, but that's because we haven't completed these glades over here yet. So what can we do with those pigments? I know it was something useful. Wasn't it turning it into trade goods? Oh, this information up here is very useful. Six people are homeless right now, so we need to build another couple of shelters. Right, we can turn pigments into pack of trade goods, which would be very good. And also work towards... Um, one of our goals. So let's move that up. 
there. Things are kind of moving along. We're we're gonna lose. <laughs> we're probably gonna lose. Um, but we're okay. We did actually deliver on this, so that'll help a little bit. And that's going to give us some more parts, which we can use to build some more stuff. We're working on this. We need to do packs of crops 15. We're doing, we're making those at the makeshift post. Makeshift post needs six more roots. Can we make it? We can make it with mushrooms. Prioritize that for the time being, because we'll actually complete another goal. All right, that's another mission. Oh no, we get our last couple of missions. 200 wood and 20 packs of provisions. We could probably do that or have at least 18 beavers. How many do we have right now? 11. Difficult to achieve, honestly. Or have 50 paved road. I don't know how much stone we have, so I don't know how doable that is. 70 stone and it costs one stone per paved road. So we could technically do that. I don't know. Let me think about it. It would turn roots into pack of crops, which would be a bit more viable there. Uh, or we can make a carpenter. Carpenter would be making planks a lot easier. And also pack of luxury goods, which would might maybe be nice. So let's go with carpenter. And uh, I guess I am gonna do paved road. And then our last objective is going to be deliver six ancient tablets, tricky. Or deliver 250 wood and 30 packs of provisions. I mean, doable, tricky though. So, villages with this effect have a negative two penalty to the resolve. So everyone's kind of feeling not good right now. So right now we're producing planks at a major loss. So I'm actually gonna uncheck these. In fact, I'm going to completely empty the crude workshop that is almost completely worthless to us now um and we're going to build a genuine carpenter workshop and prioritize planks when it is con constructed we don't need luxury goods i don't think they're required for any of our current goals it would be nice but yeah not necessary also we really should put another person in this rain collector also, we have another rain collector now, so we can maybe actually finally achieve another goal. We should make ourselves a herb garden. Did we? We already did that over here, right? Yeah. So we got a herb garden over there. That's giving us some roots and herbs. Good stuff. Good stuff. Beaver resolve is low. Yeah, everyone's resolve is low. It's like really not good right now. I don't know if you noticed. Noted. We don't have any planks, so we can't make the carpenter workshop. And I took people off planks over here. So let's go ahead and undo that so that they're making planks so they can actually build the carpenter workshop. Lol. Okay, did we finally... No, we didn't. We're still doing cornerstones. Standardized set of rules. Every villager with their need for education fulfilled increases population production speed by 5%. Strange roots spread across the land. Would it... No, I don't like either of these. I'm going to take the amber. I don't have the means to uh, get people at PK TBH. So not really going to do it for me. We finally get to deliver on something, so that's nice. Um... We need to do aesthetics, but I'm really waiting on getting planks in order. We could do the pavement though. We could learn the brewery, um, which does packs of crops at a probably a more efficient rate. Lumber mill, ooh. Yeah, that's really good. Also it makes packs of trade goods. Also scrolls, which would give us education. Um, clothier is also good. It gives us coats, water skins, and scrolls. That is really tempting. Since I'm already doing the sawmill. <sighs> Current best. I see. So this, uh, there's actually a really good way. It communicates very quickly and easily, like, what something does for you and how it's going to help you. Uh, which I really appreciate. So I, as much as the lumber mill is really tempting, I think that... We should do the clothier. Um, that's going to make people happier more quickly. This place is kind of tight knit right now. Um, you'll have to forgive my my building methods are probably a bit. Uh, I don't know. They make an efficient use of space in a way, but all right. And we're going to start working on roads and I'm just going to 
rebuild everything out of roads. I'm actually going to move this guy slightly and then we'll throw the roads over here. Don't really want to disturb the, the, um, the grass there in case I want to develop it. We don't have anyone here. I should probably be making packs of provisions. I don't know how we're doing for herbs. Oh, we have a lot of wine. We have some herbs and we are, we do have a renewable source of herbs. So let's go ahead and throw some people in here. Lizards, I guess. No one is like a huge fan of it. So, so foragers camp has no deposits nearby. Is there a place I can put it that it would? Oh yeah, there's roots over here. Very nice. nice. Did we finally make the trappers den? Yeah, we did. And we can finally put lizards over here. And honestly, I'm kind of astonished that I was able to keep lizards this game because I didn't have meat for a long time. I basically only got away with it because every time it was offered a reward with the option of taking meat, I took it. So um, I really want to prioritize this carpenter because uh, we don't have planks to basically make anything right now you guys need to be making planks Thanks. okay we must be getting pretty close to post paved roads because i only have five stone left uh, we have new people um hmm more beavers more people or humans um come with more roots which would be nice more berries wouldn't be bad either i think we have tons of silk yeah, we have tons of silk. We really don't need it. So I'll take the berries because we can turn that into wine. I don't know where we can turn it into wine. I probably at the uh, cellar, actually. Yeah, we should be doing this, but we don't. I guess we have pottery. We can do pottery. So we can start working on that. Can we do anything? Else? Oh, berries. Berries for pickled goods down here. And uh, we can't do anything there, but at least they're working on something now. Oh. We have no more stone. Oh. Uh, that's not good. Trader arrived. We have, maybe we can buy some stone. There we go. They'll sell us some, oh, advanced smithing. Plus one to tools production. Oh, I don't have any tools production. Plus two to copper bars production. Gain additional, no, that's not good either. Repurpose clay, nothing goes to waste. Gain two bricks for every 10 pottery produced. None of those really help us because we're not be able to do any of that. Um, so what I'll do is I'm just gonna buy a bunch of stone. We can use the stone, definitely can use the planks. Probably should only buy what we need and not just like a bunch of stuff. Uh, I can definitely use the pottery. So now what, what can we sell? If I had been making some luxury goods, that would have been good. Let's throw down 10 amber just to start with. Can we do clay? Mm, probably shouldn't do clay. Let's do some sea marrow. That gets us like up to normal. They're not happy with us, so let's do some silk. And uh, we're selling at a loss, but that's fine. Trade. And now we can finally start making some stuff. Uh, our carpenter is good. We can throw some beavers in there. Let's have a look at where our beavers are. Maybe there's someone we can move. Like I'm pretty sure a makeshift post doesn't need beavers in it. So we'll change that to humans. Change the carpenter back to beavers. And now we can finally start making stuff. Uh, we maybe don't need to prioritize planks as much as we did a moment ago because uh, we also want luxury goods. But, um, you know, we're, we're well on our way. What do we need still? We need packs of trade goods. We're going to get that from the weaver, which we're using pigments right now. How many pigments do we have? None. <laughs> We've spent our pigments. So uh, I guess we'll start making it out of pottery. We really just need to get that done. It's been like over our heads for a while. Also, um, people are probably not super happy with the fact that I haven't been building homes. So let's build some homes. Okay, that should be enough homes for the time being. How's our wood supply going? Not great. We probably need to start digging away at the, at the wood as well uh, again. We have a couple of small glades over here we could do that might not uh, cheese off the forest as quickly. We do need some more ancient tablets to solve one of our objectives. Oops. Beaver Carpenter has left. Yeah, things are getting kind of dire. The more we dig into the forest, the more uh, those storms are hostile and the more it's going to uh, affect our people. 
Wood cutting is a lot easier. Gain five pigments for every 10 insects produced. We don't really produce any insects right now because I don't have the means. So I kind of want to decline both of these, to be honest. I suppose if I did reinforce axes, I could go for that last, that wood cutting one here as a last desperate measure, which by the way, is the trader still there? Ah, shoot, we just missed them. Ooh, a distillery actually is worse for wine, strangely. Rain mill would be, oh, finally. We could do flour and better trade goods. Bakery, but we don't, we don't have uh, wheat or flour. So we have to do a rain mill. But the thing is, is that I think for the rain mill, we do need, um, we need a uh, grain. We don't have grain right now at all, but it does make it allow us to do trade goods at eight versus over here, it's 10. Oh God. Um, oh, we should be doing silk. Why aren't we doing silk? That's so stupid of me. I've been wasting planks this whole time. I have so much silk or fabric, I suppose. suppose. Now that I'm not using all my planks, did I use up like all of my planks? No, I have some, not as many as I'd like. One of our carpenters left, so I'm gonna have to put another one on there. Um, we should finally make some decorations, gardens and the like. These are really, they consume a lot of space. Let's just do lamps. Five for now, we need to do 15, I know. Well, I'll just like throw them down. I guess, uh, I guess there's no point in putting, like there, we only put them in range of the hearth. Hearth? A beaver carpenter left. I mean, I mean, getting pickled goods. We got some luxury. We need education. Didn't I get something for making education and I haven't built it yet? Clothier makes scrolls. Probably that's what we want. Requires more planks, which we don't really have to spare, but we're gonna go for it. Honestly, I I kind of want to make another carpenter. That's how much we need planks right now. Okay, we're making another carpenter. Uh, I guess I didn't tell this woodcutter to, to you know, cut as much as I should have. Honestly, let's just like do all of that. What do we got here? Patron of the spiritual world, once discovered it flees to a nearby dangerous or forbidden glade. It is said that a special treasure awaits the one who captures it. Okay, uh, and I guess we have a time limit on this now. Now, low on food. Oh god, not another disaster. Here. Okay, well this, uh, this herbalist camp has honestly been doing nothing and I've had mushrooms just sitting there for the longest time. I swear to god, is this a clothier? I'm already building, I'm building a clothier when I don't even need to be. Eat. So you guys go ahead and make clothes. That's the only thing you can make, so, oh. We need pigment for scrolls, okay. Well, we can make clothes at the very least. Hey, at least no one's, uh, at least no one's homeless right now. We should really have both woodcutter camps over there, um, working on this. All right, I've gone ahead and, uh, relieved a couple of beavers of their usual work so that they can come over here and dig away at this treasure stag appeared nearby we need to do this what is going on here shelter is on fire too far from a hearth oh we need to build a new hearth that's pretty expensive honestly but um we, we kind of need to do this is the first time uh since playing this game today i i wish it would tell me why i can't build something somewhere I'm assuming it's because I need to build it within reach of the original hearth, but I'm not sure. I don't think I understand. Do we have no wood? Yo, we have no wood right now. None. Oh, that's really bad. bad. I think I've failed this um, for a variety of reasons, but you know, it's been a learning experience. I've learned quite a lot from, uh, from playing this. And you know, I'm enjoying it, even if I am losing. We're gonna prioritize that. Um, and we need more planks, but I guess I, I, you know, I don't have any wood. We're running out of food as well. We need another, like, plantation. I was really hoping at some point I was going to get something better for food, like hay, uh, or a farm, I mean. But it, it just never really happened. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a plantation down there. I really should just, like, focus on the one tree that's going to open that. Oh, I'm going to miss it. 
God damn it. I, I really screwed myself by selecting all those trees. What well, we do need, um, we do need more wood, so I may as well just commit. Oh, I was like seconds away there. All right, so this is, uh, we need either oil or ale, which we have none. We're not going to be able to do this. Fishman ritual. Heavy clouds are gathering around the sacrifice totem. The storm's duration is increased by one, plus 100%. And consequences one impatient point. Well, I can't make ale, so that's scary. And I can't make oil. Oh, that could be GG right there. Why don't we send this to the Citadel? Uh, I guess I have no workers. Here are some new people that don't know it's terrible to live here yet. Let's go ahead and throw them at the fire. Go ahead and investigate that. Oh, look, we got eggs. And then what do we got over here? Uh, more of the same. Oh, except we get tablets and pack of trade goods. So that's like super duper helpful. Might buy us a little bit more time. Probably won't, except we don't have stone to actually complete that. So there is that. Um, trader won't arrive during the storm. Uh, because the storm just started, I can't get them to come here. And uh, I was thinking if I could just like buy one stone, that would act make a major difference. If I if I managed to succeed this one, I would actually complete two different goals. Low on fuel. Yeah, I probably just burned through all of our bone marrow. Honestly, like if something if a building can't do anything, there's no point in keeping it occupied. I keep making that mistake. So we have no more pottery. Can't really substitute it. So we may as well, uh, I guess we can deactivate that for now. No. All right, we need to do plant fields nearby. Bye. You guys go over there. Humans there. Okay, we did actually achieve two goals maybe. Gain plus one production yields for all packs of goods. Amazing. But also get three oil for every 10 flour produced is like astonishingly good. I like the export specialization though. Um, we can deliver on two of these. Actually pulling things back a little bit, just just a little bit. Um, if we have any planks, we could maybe get towards aesthetics. We have tons of planks. Oh my God. Okay, let's do lamp. I noticed we have lizard post. <laughs> You know what? Let's build a, a lizard post just to just to show them that we care. Scouts are idle. Medium abandoned. Right. We don't have any stone, so we can't do that one yet. If I'd gotten the oil while making flour, then I would have been able to produce that one. We've got our trader. Good lord. You have no stone. Oh, but you do have ale. And for that, I am eternally grateful. What can we do here? Biscuits can now be produced in the kiln and rain mill. Plus two to ale production gain ale every yield from gathering, farming, or production. Okay, that's actually amazing. That might actually change things around a bit. Plus two to porridge production gain additional porridge every yield from gathering, farming, or production. I, we do actually have the ability to make a rain mill, but we never did get wheat. I guess we have grain right here. We could just buy it. Let's uh, sell some trade goods. In fact, we can get quite a bit. Um, we want to make a bunch of people happy here. So let's just like trade for pie, trade for biscuits, ale, we're good. Jerky would be nice, um, meat, and then we'll do trade goods auto. Okay. That's going to be all of our trade. Oh, we can do luxury goods. Let's do like a bunch and, um, get some more amber auto trade Buy this, Buy that and uh we're good we have a bunch of amber that was actually um very good we still don't have the stone to get this but we can actually complete this now that we have 20 ale oh except what do we need here perform ritual fishmen hate fire and will do anything in their power to extinguish every last flame in the world block the ability to sacrifice goods in the hearth oh that's fine i don't really do that anyway hey lizard people you're up Throw some ale at that. Lizard people are finally like, you care, you actually care. I can't believe it. Trapper's camp would let us gather from large nodes. Scribe turns scrolls into things, but we don't really have the means of making like leather. 
I mean, I guess I'll take Trapper's Camp, but I don't think it matters too much. We can deliver on this. We actually went above and beyond. Um, as soon as we deliver, like, get that ancient... Oh, we just need one stone. Where can we get some stone? You know, it sounds stupid, but it might be that the best thing we can do is crack open another den as quickly as we can. Um, because we need stone, and getting it would allow us to make do of this. Except this is only has, like, 30 seconds left. Oh, no, it would take 30 seconds. Okay. We really boosted our, uh, resolve. In that last couple of moves so we only have two missions left one of them we're going to achieve over here um and then the other one is we just need a ton of wood which we don't have really any of um so here's what i'm gonna do we're gonna i'm gonna build another where is it is it woodcutter's camp this is uh this is gonna be dangerous but i'm gonna build another woodcutter's camp Honestly, let's do another one. Let's do another one. And we're gonna do uh, avoid glades and avoid glades. And then for this one over here, avoid glades and avoid glades. And we're gonna try and get as much wood as possible. So what do we have over here? Oh, a trader. And you have a stone. Oh, yo, there it is. So that's one thing accomplished. You also have Plus two to tea production, plus one to oil production, gain additional oil every yield. Eh, doesn't really help us. It might have, but it doesn't. You can buy some grain and we'll even this up with just like amber. I guess we shouldn't do that. Um, we should just like use trade goods. Nice. Okay, do we have any beavers? We do have beavers. Okay, so three over there, three over there, three over there. I'm going to move this like in a denser forest location. And yeah, I mean, you see where this is going, right? I'm just gonna like boost my wood production as much as possible. I'm sure there's a uh, beaver I can spare from something else. Yeah, like the rain collector for instance, because we want all of these to have beavers. We want to maximize wood production. In fact, do you have any wood? No, you don't, okay. Apparently a carpenter left. Why do the carpenters keep leaving? Um, so I'm actually gonna say stop on planks. Stop on planks. We have enough planks. We have tons of planks. We don't need any more planks. Plank. More people. Uh, well, hay would, or grain would be really nice. Lizard people, hard to manage for me right now. But I'll take it for the grain. And, uh, we do want to continue kind of moving towards, like, people being happy. So let's go ahead and build a, um... Rainmaker here. Trapper's Den has no deposits. I'm sure there's deposits somewhere else. In fact, yeah, we can make use of that. How's our our wood production is going up? Why is it going down? We need to have a look at that consumption control. I guess we're using it as fuel is part of the problem. We don't really have anything else we can use and we can't call a trader and our other trader left so we can't really do anything about that so uh, though this is a you know desperate maneuver it's, it might not actually work out because we're burning up wood almost as fast as we're uh gaining it woodcutter left everyone's really unhappy right now the um hostility of the forest is making the rain so nasty that it's it's making it like awful we have a rain, um, rain mill, which is good. We can start, let's uncheck that. Bis biscuits is fine. We'll turn hay, uh, grain into flour. Interesting, there's different, like, benefits depending on... Right, so we could put, like, two, uh, beavers there. Low on food again. Oh, jeez. That's what I get for taking on too much. Growing our population too much. Um, we can pick one of these three clay per minute royal St stormwalker secured the trail to your settlement newcomers will arrive quicker we don't want that but clay per minute that's quite nice we can also deliver on this and we're really just waiting on 150 wood uh i guess the scribe would be really nice i need to make sure that no one is using wood to make anything really gotta double check um i don't even want to be have a chance of making barrels pack of building materials that's fine 
let's deactivate that. Uh, actually, no, we, we can be making trade goods. I guess we don't have any wine. So we may as well deactivate the carpenters. Ah, if we had wine, we could be making uh, some scrolls. I knew the scribe was, uh, was going to be tricky to manage. Honestly, I think we should just build some more woodcutter dens. People are leaving. People are upset right now. They hate it. But there's not much I can do about that. We are slowly going up, though. Our queen has just about had it with us, but we've almost completed our last uh, objective here. Come on, 212. All right, let's... Uh, Let's see here. Uh, everyone's leaving. Why y'all leaving? Stop. Get out of here. I don't want to know that bad things are happening right now. 224 or 230. 240. Come on. Oh, we have we have more people. You guys don't know. It's awful. I love it. I love that for you. 244. Come on. Come on. Yes. Deliver. Boop. Okay, that does actually like return everything. Uh, that did not... That didn't finish the quest? Uh-oh. I think we're gonna have to crack open some more glades. If only to, like, try and appease the queen. So, we're gonna have to be really quick about this, because the forest is already, like, very mad at us. Everyone's, like, really not cool. We're at level 6 threat from the forest. People are leaving. That's fine. I can deal with this. Maybe. Oh God. Wants a detailed map of the region and will supply anyone willing to help. Gain 20 reed and 20 clay for each discovered glade. Sure. Ah, uh, we're, we're, I really thought completing all the missions was going to win us the game, but it really looks like that's not the case. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's going to be a loss for sure. Uh, no. Uh, I wonder if there's anything I can do. I don't think there is. Lizard's resolve is low. Ah, uh, we lost. Well, I completed all the quests. I, I, I feel like I did is, you know, I, I, I'm sure I could have done better. I'm very, very sure I could have done better, but I did complete some deeds and we got some buns, you know, whatever that's worth. It's a uh, part of the meta progression points. We can spend some of those. And uh, hopefully our next city would be a little bit easier. I might just like pick an easier difficulty. Um, but we completed this. We get some experience for that. We can dug into 30 glades apparently, which... Uh, oh, we have access to harpies now. Harpies are no noble and fragile species. These were a new race uh, kind of introduced in one of the previous updates. Economic migration. Rumor has it your settlement is one of the wealthiest in the realm. Newcomers will arrive quicker. These are uh, buffs, I think, that we can we we now have access to. Um, what else do we get? Did we level up at all? No. Viceroy's quarters. Your own little corner in the smoldering city. A place where you can rest, collect trophies, and learn about the world. That's nice. So we can do more deeds. Win a game in the Scarlet Orchard. I, I don't even know if I, I, I have access to that yet. Uh, near the Ruins modifier. So there's a lot of different, you know, like things that kind of shuffle up the game, uh, make it feel a little bit different. We can have a look at our home. Choose relation, niece or nephew. You're about to meet Aunt Lori. What's your relation to her? Uh, sure, I will be a nephew. Oh, this is new. This is a, as new as of like today, by the way. Um, so this is Aunt Lori, the Queen's Hand. As soon as you step into your new home, you notice a richly clothed woman standing by the window, her gaze fixed on the citadel. Hey, Auntie. Well, isn't this a nice looking home? Uh, back in my day, fresh viceroys would sleep on the floor of the Svar Tavern. <clears throat> How was your training? I'm still confused. I know, dear. There's a lot to take in at once. So many new things and so little time. Learning can feel like climbing a mountain. I promised my sister I would help uh, look after you, and I plan on keeping that promise. As a member of the Queen's Hand, there is much I can teach you, but knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice. For now, focus on exploration. Try new things. Venture into uncharted territory. Okay. Can you give me advice? You seem a bit tired. Things haven't been going too well for you, have they? This whole Viceroy business is harder than I thought. Remember, failure is just part of the process. Keep trying, you'll get there eventually. Make sure you always have enough houses and stock up on complex food 
as soon as you can. Using cooking wisely will net you more than you invested. Don't be afraid to venture deeper into the forest, but always be prepared for what you may encounter there. One thing that helped me immensely when I was just starting out was trading. Whether it's food shortages or unexpected events, the Merchant Guild has got you covered. <clears throat> and we can buy some upgrades. We can buy Monastery of the Vigilant Flame Level 2, gain permanent plus 2% to burning duration. I would hopefully use up a little bit less fuel. We could do Queen's Patience. Negative 2% to the speed at which the Queen's Impatient grows. Seems very good. Uh, more impatience. We can kind of buy almost everything that require buns. You gain a permanent plus two to global production speed. Um, trader arrival speed. Permanent 1% boost to your global chance of production or producing double yields. So I guess the reason, one of the things I, I appreciate about this over like say your standard roguelite is generally speaking what bothers me about meta progression is that um, you kind of just like hit the wall of like I no, I couldn't do it. I couldn't get past this arbitrary wall and I needed more meta progression. Um, I don't get the, that impression from this game at all. Um, I feel like I had every tool to my disposal to make that a win and I just didn't understand how to use them yet. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, and like the meta progression just is gonna help you along uh, in terms of like growing into the more dangerous biomes and towards your goals. These uh, goals are new. I haven't really even seen like what they offer yet, but uh, I'm interested to find out. This has been a fairly long video, even with editing, I'm sure um, it will be fairly long, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more. And uh, let me know if maybe you'd like a series. I don't know. I, I doubt you would, but um, like it's a, it's a slow burn game kind of game. And uh, maybe maybe there's people out there that would appreciate it. Either way, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.